The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Spire Swirl 3 CPU air cooler. The box comes with a handle at the top, a window at the front, plus features and specifications about it. Now there are two security seals. Let me cut those and let's see what's inside. The packaging is pretty similar to other CPU air coolers. You've usually got an accessory box at the top and indeed you do. I'll show you what's in that in just a minute. They also include warranty information as well as an installation guide and the cooler. Lots of items included in the accessory box. You've got all the materials needed for installation on the sockets, plus a tube of thermal compound, a fan speed controller. They also include a screw for mounting this in the expansion slot, a power lead which goes from the power supply's four pin mux connector into the fan speed controller. And you also have a cable here, and you can use this if you want to. You don't have to. You could just connect the fan directly into the rheostat if you wanted to, but you've got this pass-through cable uh, from the motherboard to the rheostat and then into the fan if you want to use it. Quite a different CPU air cooler in that it has this spiral or round pattern to it. Most of them are rectangular or square. Now this cooler fits most of the current sockets plus the new Intel socket 2011. You've got 45 aluminum fins, a 60 by 60 by 7.5 millimeter fan in the center. This fan moves a fair amount of air, 83.12 CFMs. It's a ball bearing fan as well. The noise level on this is between 10 to 26 decibels. Of course, that depends whether you use the fan controller or not. Of course, RPMs will vary as well between 600 to 2000. And by the way, the TDP on this particular cooler is 130. It weighs in at 690 grams and it measures 13.1 by 12.5 by 6.2 centimeters. There are three heat pipes and these pass right through the smooth base and this will allow excellent contact between it and the CPU and then those heat pipes go up into the mini fins and then of course the fan will help dissipate the heat. And to facilitate cooling they have this heat sink on top of the base. The only branding on this cooler is at the top with their logo. Finally have a listen to the fan at full speed and as well have a look at it. It is a blue LED fan. No doubt about it, this is a different looking CPU air cooler, but it still has all of the important features that you need if you want it to perform, like many aluminum fins, heat pipes, which go into a nice smooth base, and a decent fan. I should note as well that this particular cooler is black nickel coated so it looks really really nice now performance on this really isn't going to break any records and that's kind of to be expected because it's not your traditional rectangular square heat sink that has a fan or fans which can move the air from one side to the other rapidly you know this one's got a fan in the center and so on so while it does perform pretty well, it's not going to be on par with some of the uh, larger traditional size heat sinks that are on the market. And remember, this one has a TDP of 130. However, it still is a great product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.